Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. If you are new here, please make sure to click the subscribe button. We are trying to hit 100k by the end of the year, so if you could make that happen, then I will be extremely happy. Also, if you want to actually learn hacking and get the best from the best, my course is in the description for bug bounty as well as ultimate game hacking course which also includes some example cheats which you can check out and both of these courses give you free avino subscription premium subscription to avino.online my platform you can also check it out and plus on top of that make sure to subscribe to my second channel so the video will be about how hackers actually identify vulnerabilities on websites now you can apply this even if you're a beginner or even if you are already doing this for money like intermediate level but i have to tell you something and that is actually the secret the actually number one secret to all of this is hackers are just good at programming and hackers have good intuition to where issues could possibly go and hide well in front of me i have a simple website which i'm going to use to demonstrate what i mean by this and also this took me a while to figure out so hopefully you guys will be actually much more smarter than me and listen to this video carefully so watch it until the end and make sure to comment down below your techniques on how do you hunt for vulnerabilities so we can all learn something firstly this uh, whole website is written in uh, python actually flask so that's interesting and one of the things that hackers immediately notice is even if you have source code or not if it, even if it's black box you must understand the layout of web applications how they're handling requests how are they made and that is all e easy to learn and you can find that in my course it's actually super easy to learn and you can even learn it for free but if you want to actually go like dig on the internet then you're free to do so but I covered that as well so what I'm actually going to teach you today is how to do recon how to figure out stuff and how to potentially exploit a vulnerability that you can actually report it. So get a working proof of concept for a report. The website in front of me has a, a HTML content sanitizer. So we can uh, enter, uh, I don't know, H1, and then we can enter, uh, again, closing H1 bracket, and we can say, hello there. Now, this shouldn't work, right? I mean, in your mind, maybe it doesn't work, but the sanitize output actually works. See, that's interesting. Okay, so what if we put, uh, I don't know, a simple script now here? Oh, let's, let's try it out. I mean, this is recon, by the way, so let's do it. So let's put script and let's call alert one as you do. So let's click sanitize. Uh, okay, what is going on? So let me actually right click on it and go inspect to see what is actually happening. Here in the div, you can see that it only shows the hello there and the alert one. So this script tags must be stripped up, right? And that is just the reality of it. And you can now go test it, but we're actually going to take a look at the source code of it. You can go right now and test some different payloads, but it's best if you understand the vulnerability. So this is how it works. It is using Flask and it defines a bad tags folder. Now you can probably find a tag which can execute code here, but just for this video, I put these. That's even besides the point if one is missing. Imagine on a real website, all of them are there, but there could be few. So these are the bad attributes as well. I forgot to mention that, but this website actually also stripped down the attributes. Well, we didn't know from here, but we actually found out about, about that one while we were reading source code. One of the things that I also like is when you're doing bug bounty, you can also go for open source projects, which actually do give you access to code. And that becomes super helpful because now you actually have something to go off rather than just black box texting, testing, I'm sorry. So let's go continue. This is the remove bad tags function, but we will get into it actually once we see where it's getting called. Uh, this is a template. So, okay. Actually, we're seeing that this if sanitized output is there, we render it with slash safe. So mean that we actually render raw HTML here in the Jinja templating. So in the slash route, we accept two post two requests. One is get and one is post. Uh, if it's get or post afterwards, we just render a template string and we basically firstly define HTML input sanitize and we just set that all here to the template and render the template uh, string. Cool. So this is actually where it gets interesting because if the request the method is post, we take the HTML input from the form, which is HTML input, and then we just just call once remove bad tags function. So you can in like the Visual Studio, you can hold control and click on this and go to the definition of it. So the control and click. And this is actually what this function does. It calls, it takes HTML content argument, which we can actually see right here. It takes the input that we entered and then it goes for every single tag within there and goes calls that re dot sub function, which basically strips that apart and replaces anything that matches this with this within this string. And also these are the flags 
ignore case because some someone might write capital C, capital P, capital T, and so on. So it's better if you just go ignore case. So no matter if it's lowercase, high case, whatever it is, it is called, it will also be stripped. And also it strips for the closing tag. And this is for the bad attributes. We also strip them apart as well from each like for attribute and bad attributes, we strip each one. All right, that is actually the source code. Do you know the vulnerability? I'll actually give you 10 seconds to maybe pause the video, figure it out. And if you do, comment down below the vulnerability. And if you actually figured it out, you're going to get a gift. So just so you know that. Okay, now actually, I'm going to show you what the vulnerability is. But just for some of you who might actually want to compete in this, I give you like a few seconds while I'm yapping. Maybe you can pause the video. Anyways, so what actually is the vulnerability here? Let me go with the good old paint for this. So let's actually take a look at the string. So let's enter like uh, an image that is a bad tag. And imagine now the website, how th how this code sees it is it goes character by character and then finds out this that this actually exists within a string, let's say. And what this line of code will do is it will go through each tag it actually has in the array. And let's say it found the image. Okay, so that's the match. Then what you should do is replace this image with absolutely nothing. As seen here, if you find that tag, replace replace it with nothing. Same goes for the closing tags, but this is for this tag specifically. If you find this tag, replace it with nothing. That is actually what it's currently website doing. So if you think that's actually safe, then you mostly should be correct. But if done properly, currently it is actually handled improperly where you can still bypass this and execute JavaScript code on the client side. How exactly? Well, let me show you. Well, in paint, I'll actually have to draw this out for you. If you actually enter image, it will detect this like tag, it will detect it and of course not allow you to render it to the front end. However, what if actually this is what you entered? What if you entered image and within image you entered script? What if you just did that? Which one of these elements will be deleted? This is a question for you again. Make sure to write down in the comments your answers, but you can also answer them correctly. So with the same logic, it goes through these tags and it finds, let's say, script tag. Okay, script tag has been found because remember it matches both these and these uh, as you can see in the code. If it doesn't have that or that, it will not treat it as tag as this image tag as this image has opening bracket but doesn't have closing bracket. So what this will do is it will identify script and it will essentially just go ahead and remove the script. So it will just remove that. Let me just show you. And after it removes that, what is left is image and closing bracket. However, it is once it is actually too late because the code has progressed already to removing bad attributes and image has passed through the filter. But you're wondering, okay, how is it bad if you just ju just inject image and you actually have to go with on error. Well, believe it or not, this is actually completely safe. I don't know why, but it uses regex here, but it's safe. But what it isn't safe is script tag. Well, let me show you. As you can see right over here, this is what I actually, uh, what we tried. But let's say we create an image tag. Within this image tag, we create a script tag. So script and this script tag will actually be removed. So let's go with image. This image will be removed and script like that. Now, actually, this will be removed and we will be left with the script. So let's put some code here. So let's go with alert one. And now we actually have to go with closing script tags. So script. However, if you actually study the code, you know that that's actually also going to be replaced as well. So what are we actually going to do right now is also inject an image tag here, maybe closing image tag. And if we click sanitize, you should see alert one pop up just like that. Let's actually review the code to see how it looks like the front end. And would you look at that? Only image tags were stripped up and script has been executed. If you don't think this is realistic, you should actually definitely believe me and everybody else who teaches you this, that it is actually one of the key vulnerabilities that you can actually still find today. So you can definitely find this in the wild and hopefully you learn something from today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below, like this video, please, and stay, stay awesome. And as always, peace.